What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mystery Money. My name's Nick. Today I want to do a short video on the new or so-called new PPP loan application. Uh, there's a few channels out there that are covering the new application and talking about mistakes and all those things. And I just wanted to put my two cents in, basically throw my opinion into the ring. Do me a favor before we get started, hashtag PPP in the comments below and hit that like button. I looked over both applications. If you go on the SBA's website, which I'll link below, you can pull up the November revised application and you can pull up the December 31st revised application. If you lay them side by side, compare them, the only thing that changed was the form date. And the only reason they did that is because they would have to go through and get a new form approved in order to use for the program. So all they're doing is extending it to 2023. They haven't updated anything. As with the law, it's fully funded, it's fully approved, but the SBA has to come out and tell the lenders when the eTran platform, which is where all of the lenders input your SBA information into the portal and the SBA reviews it and determines what they're going to uh, give you for a loan. As of right now, no banks have had any guidance from the SBA. The only thing that the industry advocates are saying is that the potential portal, it looks like it may be opened the week of the 11th or potentially the week of the 18th, but that is pending future guidance. There's a lot of changes that were made, such as the, the fact that you have to show your economic loss in order to get additional funds. That's going to add one more step into the calculation that the banks will have to do in order to preliminarily approve your loan. So right now, almost all the banks are scratching their head going, what do we need to do? What information are they gonna ask for? And what staff are we going to have to need in order to process these applications in a timely fashion? On the bright side, because there's an income component to it now, I believe you're going to have less applications. You're gonna have more from those specific sectors that were impacted more so than others and other industries that were able to pivot and change their business model in order to sustain their revenues. With less applications, I'm hoping that the process goes faster. Now, as I've said on my channel before, I still have not applied for forgiveness on my first round of PPP, but with the new law changing with the EIDL advance being removed from the PPP, payback, I am waiting until the final form, final application comes out for the PPP forgiveness before I apply for anything. Long story short, make sure you're keeping in contact with your lender. I know most banks and most lenders are sending out email notifications and correspondence either daily or weekly, letting you know where the process is, when you can apply and all those things because we've gone through it before and we've kind of seasoned from the last time, but we're trying to apply that to the future. And I'm hoping to have my next video here shortly with EIDL reconsideration video out. I'm still waiting on the process for the paperwork. I emailed my loan officer this morning to check on the status and she said I'd have to call the 800 number to get a status on the reconsideration approval amount. So until next time, have a great day.